how many trucks have you had it on? I've had it on five trucks. I take fairly good care of my trucks. Fair. I do use my trucks. They're work trucks. Can you even estimate how many miles of road you've done this thing on? I, I probably use it an average from South Dakota, an average. If you average out every winter, we'd pro I probably use it 25 times a winter. And I use it from one inch of snow to one foot, two foot, doesn't matter. The first time I used it, I was sold. I used to use a snow blower, and the first time I used it in shirt sleeves, I was sold on it. First time I used this plow, I went in and told my wife, this is it. I mean, there's no better thing that you could ever imagine. I said, sitting in a pickup instead of behind the snow blower. How much time does it save you compared to a snow blower? There's no comparison. It's 90% faster than a snow blower and you're not in the elements. You're sitting in the comfort, listening to the radio. Has it ever failed you? Never. I've never had a problem with it. I've never changed cutting edge. Um, I, I've done both commercial plowing on my own, stuff that I own on my own, plus all my residential plowing, which my driveway is a circular driveway, and uh, it's about 600 feet long. So I can angle the plow and move the snow out and push it onto the grass. It's about the most turf friendly thing. Your tires probably do more damage than the actual plow. If you have any imperfections where I have a little step going into my house or my step going onto my sidewalk is about three inches tall. I can plow right over the top, doesn't catch it, lifts right over the top. So do you ever help your friends out with this plow? Uh, yeah. We live out in the country on a small lake, and I have a buddy that lives about a mile away. And what I'd do before the before our county got out there to plow it, I'd plow the actual road a mile out and a mile back to his place so he could get out. It'll plow snow. I've pushed snow at least this high. It'll roll it up into a pile, no problem at all. I've actually had to take it out and uh, open up fields for, uh, we're big into pheasants down there and open up fields so the pheasants could get at corn. I plowed across corn stalks, everything. Can you show us what it takes to take it off and put it back on? Well, the pin on the front holding what I call them. I call them bull horns. But I never leave this on my truck because it only takes 30 seconds to take everything off. Simple as that. to the races and it's like I say I always take that off I don't drive with it on but I take it off under 30 seconds to put the whole thing on and off it's no problem um, lifting and everything I have a bad back and it doesn't bother my back at all you're bit, I don't you're probably lifting 35 40 pounds max off to the races.